Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In the previous video lecture, we considered what the Fibonacci sequence is, the flowchart of the program and towards the end, the very important part that is the logic behind the program. Once we understand, once we understand these things, now we can consider the actual Python coding. So let's begin. N terms, so let this be a variable, N terms is equal to int input I'm going to type how many terms yes what this means is n terms is a variable which is of type int and input I'm going to get the data from the user use I'm going to expect the data from the user the user uh, the message gets printed is how many terms uh, say for example if the user enters 5 then uh, the program is going to generate the Fibonacci sequence of length 5 that that what it means yes moving further n1 comma n2 I'm going to assign these uh, variables as 0 comma 1 n1 is equal to 0 and n2 is equal to 1 we know these things the uh, initial two values of any Fibonacci sequence is 0 and 1 after this I'm going to have count is equal to 0 I'll assign count is equal to 0 next if n terms if n terms is less than or equal to 0 if n terms is less than or equal to 0 so what does the, this mean uh, the user has entered a negative number so what what the message should be printed so I'm going to print please enter a positive number if n terms is less than or equal to 0 if it is less than 0 that means he has entered a negative number if it is equal to 0 we cannot generate the Fibonacci sequence uh, for the length of 0 so hence uh, uh, we are going to uh, pass the message please enter a positive number this message is going to be displayed onto the screen l if so next I'm going to use another uh, nested if it is l if n terms is equal to 1 what does this mean l if n terms equal to 1 means the user has entered n terms of the length 1 so I'm going to print for this Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence Fibonacci sequence up to I'm going to I'm going to display the message Fibonacci sequence up to n terms n terms is the variable its value will be printed and after this I'm going to put a colon and uh, I'm going to print n1 n1 is a 0 so 0 is going to be printed for the length of 1 uh, 0 will be printed so this is what the thing is so if else so next I'll consider else uh, say for example the user has entered a data which is a uh, positive number and it is not equal to 1 then it comes to this condition else what are the statements so here I'm going to print Fibonacci sequence I'm going to print Fibonacci sequence so this is the message that gets printed and here I'm going to enter into a while loop while count less than n terms while count less than n terms what should happen I should print n1 I'm going to print n1 after this I should assign nth is a variable which is equal to n1 plus n2 and after this I'm going to have n1 equal to n2 and after this n2 is equal to nth so these are the assignments we are going to have and towards the last line we will have count is equal to count plus 1 I can write that count plus equal to count 
sorry count plus equal to one which means count is equal to count plus one so this is the coding in python to check whether a given uh, uh, to uh, generate the Fibonacci sequence of the given length if there are no errors let me run this code yes as there are no errors we are getting the output uh, first I'm getting the message as how many terms so for example let me enter a negative number let it be minus 3 so I should get the message as please enter a positive number this is the message I was expecting and I got that and now uh, let me check with Fibonacci sequence of length 1 here I'm going to get the message as Fibonacci sequence up to 1 is 0 and towards the end uh, let me now f give the number as 5 if I give uh, if I want to generate the Fibonacci sequence of length 5 the 5 sequences the 5 terms I should uh, get now if I press enter here we can check I am getting the output as 0 1 1 2 3 so let me run this again and this time let me give for example uh, terms let it be 8 for this I am going to get 8 numbers the Fibonacci sequence of length 8 so this is the Fibonacci sequence which is 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 so this is the actual coding in Python I have shown you everything step by step I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching